There again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Start Studio, and I am on a tight schedule right now. I do not have a lot of time. The dog needs to go to the vet. The Florida allergies are horrendous, which reminds me, if anybody knows of a cure for these allergies, rather than have my dog's tail amputated because he keeps chewing on it, I would love to know. These are the cards I'm going to swipe with, or deliver paint with, more like. And this is one of the two containers. Where's my other? That's what I usually use. Darn. Let's use something else. One of my containers that I fill my dustpan full of colors with. I'm going to contemplate adding some colors in the bottom of these two containers so that I can float other colors on top of them. And that's my plan. <laughs> and that's where I'm at right now. Uh, once I do that, float some other colors on top of them. I will remove them with one of these cards. Now, if the cards don't work, I'll just revert to shovels. Or, in the case of the dustpan, I may just pour off what I've got. I'd like to make these colors kind of different from each other, but I'm not doing that so far, so um, we'll see what happens. And I've got to shake everything. I've got a bottle in all of my bottles, and all of my colors have DecoArt Pouring Medium Floetrol half and half mixed with the color that had uh, two parts GAC 800 added to it. I can't use that gold. I didn't use enough of this color recently, and I miss it, and I really want it. I have some nice, do I have some nice uh, shimmering Anita's Metallic that I usually refer to as Pearl. I have some Color Shift from Folk Art Orange that I don't, is that what that is? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Anyway, it's a cool color. It'll work. Um, like I said, I don't have a ton of time, but I'm going to give it my best shot. This is a color shift in a bottle that I wouldn't mind having back again. I think in order to have some drama, some real drama, I need some darker colors in at least one of these. And sometimes the most, the weirder color the combination is, I don't know, I don't think I said that right, but um, if they're strange, they're more interesting. So. I may be going for strange and more interesting. That is a Prussian blue, even though it may look like a black, it's not. I'm going to move that out of the way. What else have I got that I love? I have, I think that that is actually a folk art neon, which does not maintain unless you put it with white. So let's try that. I haven't been using that much since I started using my art mines, which is this. And that's an iridescent pink, I believe. It dries sort of like a butterfly wing. And I kind of wish I hadn't told you guys about the... I'm not sure if it's Mystique or Mysterious, but whatever it is, it's um, it's not in stores in Michael's anymore because it got sold out, evidently. Even online, it's not available. Hey, I learned not to, uh, not to leave a painting when I splooged out of the top. I need something over here, really, really, really. And uh, I have some of that beautiful blue that I'm willing to not shake up. This is the last of a blue that was a color shift from folk art that I adore, that I can't find any more of. And I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, I added some of my unicorn spit, which is a stain, to that and um, maybe darkened the color. And even if I didn't, I'm going to, because I want that color back again. So, like I said, weird color combinations, and that's okay. More weird color combinations coming right up. Oh, I need some of that over there. Yes, I do. And hopefully, in spite of the fact that it is a super, super hot day. Ooh, that's perfect. I like that. I don't know, maybe they're... Um, I kind of like to have more quantity in some places than others rather than a, a mix all the way around. These colors are going to wind up looking the same. Yeah, you think I'm so creative and then I use all the same colors all the time. So I'm going to take these and move them as best I can out of the way. And if I get inspired to add something else along the way, like this blue. Yeah? How inspired can you be if it doesn't come out? That is actually got some golden iridescent pearl fine in it. And I didn't overfill my containers, which is a good thing, because I figured out if I fill them up really nice and full and put them on an unlevel surface, well, you know what what goes on. So that's my basting brush. There's um, 
there's two rows and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm beginning to think that maybe just this six with a space in between on every one, I removed all the other bristles, is, uh, is good enough. But I haven't figured that out yet and that's a snip away. This is my Octo Omelet turning spatula and this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I buy them because I like to get the edge catcher, which is a protective layer that they stick on the front of the package and then, and then I use it. Here's a partial. I also like to photograph them after a while. Um, if you don't leave them in the sun, it's really good. They warp and melt. <laughs> so I've been thinking about what I'm about to do and I've been making paint puddles and I'm thinking that I want to be able to do a couple different things with different methods including potentially with the basting brush. So I am ready to play with whatever I get. No, I saw what that looked like. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. <laughs> I have just the same kind of imagination as you do, some of you. <laughs> some of you bad, bad people, just like me. <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm sorry. So I thought I would make a mess to begin with. No, that's not really what I was going to say, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a mess. And uh, this is my OXO omelet turning spatula. Best paint spreading spatula around. And I would like the paint to stay kind of thick, but it's so hot out here today, there's almost no chance that that's going to be the case. And I'm not trying to clean off my spatula because as you can see, when you mix different kinds of paint, you get cells popping. We like cells popping and different variations on how much of one of the other is a good thing. So, I don't know how far I want to go. I really need a base layer. I've been thinking about this for a minute, like literally a whole minute. And uh, I'm going to use a base layer and whatever else I get. And the glasses on my forehead are best on my face. So sometimes it's really just a lot of fun for me to go ahead when I start and do whatever I want on canvas and that's a painting right there. Now we're done. <laughs> See how I am? I'm an egotist. Not really. Sort of, kind of, but not really. I know. I'm kind of wound. I had some strong coffee this morning. <laughs> it's still, it's still kicking in. So I want to do stuff. I just want to play with my spatula. But I have this other color. That's going in the bucket where I can't get to it anymore. And here goes nothing. Let's try this. I have never tried this and I want to try this. I'm going to pick some up. Whoops. And we're going to dribble some down. Those cells are awesome. And I don't know how far I want to go with that. Now I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixed paints. And what that means is that it won't, when it dries, it doesn't crack. That's what it's for. It is a pouring medium. I'm going to put that back and try for the other color. I um, think I'm going to rest that card right in there. I don't know what's going to happen. I can basting brush things. I can tip things. I can uh, grab as much of that color. Now maybe if I spread it out on my sheet. And also get it to release that same way maybe we don't know we're just trying this for the first time I'm not so sure about my colors yet and then oh I don't want to I was gonna say and then I can flip it over and use the residuals which I can and will do right now because I can which is the name of my book on the Amazon link no matter how bad this seems when it starts, we can still rescue it, she said optimistically. And hopefully. And you can always go back and press, as long as there's paint left on your card and your finger, you can press in. This might be really, really different. So I'm going to put my card over my paint and maybe that will keep it from drying up. I think I want some more of that right here. That's that neon from Folk Art that requires white more often than not. 
but I've been enjoying using the basting brush to make patterns so much I'm like I'm in a zone. Now it may dry burgundy which is normal but I've wanted to do I see that thing that does not belong goodbye thing that does not belong I have something here. What do I want to do there? I want to use the color. Actually, I can dip my basting brush right in. What else can I do? I can. <laughs> I can use my Princeton Artful Cattle spatula and fill that in with that paint right there. And just make something completely different than usual. And we are going to have some fun, I think. <laughs> I hope so. When it stops being fun, stop doing it. Let's do this. And look for that to come away. Now I have, I can use the side as, as well as the full length. I guess we're going all the way. So this is a sort of a geometric, but not really. Kind of. And it's going to wind up looking like another strange aerial view from some nightmare. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, it is a, it's just another because I can moment, sort of. Which is, by the way, the book that I wrote with my editor, Jackie. And it's below Show More. That's pretty cool. Let's tip this and see where that paint goes. And that paint. And maybe we should tip it the other way too. I like the drips. I've liked the drips before, I just haven't allowed myself to keep them. So if you tip it one way, you can tip it back again. But do I want to tip it back yet? Not yet. I am going to keep my tile somewhat clean and allow everything to roll down toward that edge catcher. And when it hits the bottom, I'm going to let it cover the edge a little bit because I don't think I did that already and I'll have to do that later. So I like my drips but I don't want to give them up and now I'm going to tip it back the other way. And I have all kinds of other things like chain. Yeah, I know I'm weird. But I got to know. I got to know these things. That's not doing anything extraordinary, but um, the rest of it's doing something okay. I think I see that I want, <laughs> I think I spy with my little eye. Um, that I want to use that chain anyway. And I want to pull the thing out I just saw right here. Goodbye thing that does not belong. And what have I got for residual paint? It's probably gray. But it's also probably got some metallic quality to it, so. So this is fun. And we're getting closer to the end than I thought we would this quickly. But that's okay, too. Um, so I want to tell you guys that if you shop my Amazon link, you're, you're assisting me. And you will find some cool stuff there. I've put canvases and all kinds of paints I like. And um, there's even resin stuff at the very bottom of the list. I like those cells. I don't want to see anything happen to them. And then she goes right ahead <laughs> and pulls her chain right through. So what else? Anything else? I like this sort of, but I'm not certain about... This is just sort of bugging me. And will it flow? And what does that mean? I think what that means is I'm going in there. I'm going to give myself permission add a few more lines yes I think I'm actually getting someplace that I like to be it's a little different but when am I not a little different um, that red is a lot more different than I want it to be I like the pink there, though. So 
So I think I want to take all of my residuals off my basting brush and put them across my bottom and then take one last look and see what else I've got here. I think maybe I'm going to take that white metallic from Anita's and tap on the bottom and add a little white over there and see if there's anywhere else I want to do that. I will definitely be touching up my edges for a while. You know, this is kind of cool, and I, I'm i trying to think on my feet if I need any more colors in there, and I'm really just thinking that it's okay the way it is. And what I should be doing is looking for gaposis along my edges, so while the paint is still wet, I can merge that. So, oops, <laughs> okay, well, we merged that. I don't mind the occasional splash spot, splooge. Sometimes I like adding spots. I could actually add spots to this, but I don't think it's called for, but that is going to bother me. Oh well. So that's two minutes left. And I don't mind that. Do I want to go across again? Maybe. So what else was I telling you about my book on the Amazon link and that I have Teespring clothing below the video. Anything you, Any shopping you do affiliated with my YouTube site will help me out. Um, if you watch more of the video, or if you give me a thumbs up, the YouTube algorithm will then know to add me more often so more people can see me. Yep, love that color. Need some right there. <laughs> I don't know if I want to use my spatula. Yeah, I guess I do, strangely enough. just to make a very abstract design right there. I like it when the eye moves around inside things well. So I want to thank you guys for all of the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. And I want to thank you guys for all the wonderful comments that you leave me constantly. And uh, tell you guys I love you. And there's probably 65,000 of you. And I forget sometimes that the spatula also makes great lines. So I might want to add a few. Straight across. Can I go straight across? <laughs> That's a question. I do have a pretty steady hand, so I'm sorry if I'm one of the only ones, but I'm happy that I have a steady hand. I don't mind any of that. I've got paint dripping down on my sides. And I want to say this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio going, I love you guys. I hope to see you again. The more videos you watch, the better off I am. I appreciate that. And if you want to join this month's contest, all you have to do is contribute to keep the studio going through PayPal or Patreon. And the links are right underneath the video and on my YouTube channel header. And you can see on the end screens of this video in the last 20 seconds that there's a playlist with over 600 videos on it. And also a video that will show you the prizes for the drawing that will happen in June 8th, 2019. So I'll see you guys anon, and bye for now. I'll be touching up my edges for a bit. And this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. I think I said that already, but then I've said it 600 times now, so it doesn't come as a big surprise. I'm going to see what you can see and if you're still here. And if I want to do something to that, I will. I think I need another line over there. I think I want another line over there. Yeah. You know what? I'm not done. Oh well, you guys are used to it, right? Cool. Ha! Well, maybe you were around for that, and maybe you weren't, but I will see you guys when I see you. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Wait, I can go in. Can't I? Oh, I can barely see anything right now. All right. I love you guys. See you soon.